Hi everybody, my name is Debra. I'm a teacher from the veterinary medicine degree and I am currently teaching first and second year students from our university. I'm just going to try to solve all your doubts on questions. So we're going to start with the first one. So your first question was how many students do we receive in our bilingual course and how many are we in the English section? Okay, so there are currently three different groups in our faculty. We have the Spanish group, the French group and the English one. We are now offering around 70 to 60 places per group for the English and for the French one. The second question was, I would like to do some of my internship abroad. Would that be possible? Of course it is. Okay, the students that are enrolled in our bilingual groups can do internships from the very first year. These internships can take place all around the European Union, except for Spain. From the third year on, these internships can take place all over the world. Third question, how does a week in the life of the first year veterinary students look like? And when are you going to learn Spanish? Is this included or not in your schedule? The schedule of a veterinary student is as follows. It can be basically divided into two main parts. During the mornings, every veterinary student is going to come to class to our faculty more or less from 9 a.m. up to 1.30, with a morning break from 11 to 11.30. These classes can be lectures as a whole group. You can also have seminars with smaller groups from about 30 students. And also you can get workshops with even smaller groups of about 20 students. During the afternoons, all students are going to have their practical activities. Where can those practical activities take place? They can take place at our university, they can be at the veterinary hospital, at the farm or even at the labs, or they can take place outside the university where external farms, slaughterhouses, oceanographic, which is the aquarium we have here in Valencia, or even at the biopark, which is the zoo. Regarding the Spanish classes, in our schedule of any international student, there are some time frames where all those students can take their Spanish classes. So they are included in your schedule. Give you an example. For example, this year, all the international students have been doing their classes on Monday and Tuesday afternoon. Next question. Is it, is it true that we can take our pets to class? I have three dogs and I would like to take them with me. That was a question from Lucas. Okay, in some exceptional situations, pets can be accepted in our faculty, but I insist just in some exceptional situations. So normally students never take their pets with them to class. Next question, made by Jonathan. Do you offer any activities which are related to animal charity, like trips to Africa, maybe? Every year, our university is involved in different humanitarian projects. For example, during these last years, both teachers and students went to Kenya, to Mozambique, Malawi and Lebanon to help both people and their animals. Last question. Do we have to be good in sciences? Okay, to succeed in your academic life, you have first of all work and study very, very hard, be very well organized, you have to actively participate during our classes and also keep in contact with your teachers. This is the reason why every first year student has a teacher th during his first year at university. A teacher is just a teacher which is going to make the follow-up of the student along the year. On top of all of this, every student can ask for tutorial sessions when needed. And of course, don't forget your personal life. That's really, really important. So please make a balance in between your personal life and your academic life. So that's all. Those are all the questions. Hope to see you soon here 
Bye and thank you.